Hey guys, welcome back for today's video. I am so excited because I am reviewing the new Faded to Hue palette by ColourPop. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I saw this palette, I fell in love. Like, I knew immediately that I had to have this palette in my collection. I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful palette, to be honest. Like, it is so stunning. I cannot wait to show you guys. I ordered it on November 26th. Um, that was the day it was released and I wanted to make sure I got my hands on it before it sold out so I literally like ordered it the second it launched and I had to wait like over a month to get it it was so sad like I ordered it November 26th and I got it I think it was like the very end of December it might have been early January like the first week of January I honestly can't even remember now all I remember is it took so long to get here, but it was worth the wait. Let me tell you, wait till you see this palette. It is more beautiful in person, if that's even possible, but it is. It is so stunning in person. It's got like every shade you can imagine. It has glitters, it has mattes, it has shimmer shades, like it's got everything. So I'm gonna stop talking and open this up so you guys can see what I'm talking about because it is so beautiful. So taking it out of the cardboard packaging, it looks the exact same. Same. Um, it's got a really nice like matte feel to it so let's open her up if you guys like colorful palettes you are gonna faint like it is so incredible but can you even believe that I feel like this is the most visually pleasing palette I have ever seen and it is so inspiring to look at like as a creator makeup artist i am like i can't wait to dig into this colourpop did that like colourpop you ahead of the game girl like this is just absolutely stunning and i think it's my favorite palette i've ever owned to be honest so and that's that's saying a lot because i have a lot of palettes and to say this is my favorite that's a pretty big statement i mean just looking at it it's definitely my favorite palette. I have to test it out, obviously, but if it's anything like other ColourPop palettes I've tried or palettes that I own, their formula is really dang good. Like, it's super pigmented, it's blendable, their formula is generally pretty buttery. So, we are going to get into creating a look with this. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. I went ahead and already primed my face. I used the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. This is a really good primer, you guys, especially if you have dry skin. It is so hydrating. It almost feels like you're wearing a moisturizer, so I really, really love it. Um, and then we're going to go in now with a foundation, and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Matte. This is the 24-hour undetectable super long wear foundation. It's oil-free, oil-controlling, waterproof, and transfer resistant. I think I've only used this foundation once since I've got it just because I'm trying to use up older foundations. So yeah, let's go ahead and use this guy today because I kind of forget what it's like. So I'm excited. I'll just pump some on. It might be a little dark for me. I honestly can't remember the shade. Um, like what it looked like on me last time I used it. I did get the shade vanilla. So um, hopefully it is a good shade for me. Um, I usually do have self tanner on. It's kind of faded now, so it might not match as good. Yeah, looks like I used quite a bit of foundation. I didn't mean to really pump this much on, but it's okay. I'll just blend it in it's yeah it's definitely looking a little bit dark for me right as of now but um if i did have more self tanner on it definitely would match me better um so we're just gonna go with it yeah so this foundation is very full coverage it literally covered up like everything on my face so i mean that's really good i love a full coverage foundation so I'm just it's not really matte yet because I feel like I put way too much product on so it's still looking a little dewy um, so I'm just gonna have to like keep pressing that into the skin to just kind of let it you know soak in so I can get that matte finish it does look really really good though like it is literally covering up everything so 
Okay, I feel like it's finally kind of blended in more now. Um, so yeah, it's not a huge difference right now. Like my neck is a little tiny bit lighter, but not too noticeably lighter. So I really, really like the finish of this. It looks so good. Okay, now that my foundation's on, I'm just gonna quickly do my brows and then I will be right back. All right, we're back. I did my brows and I also went ahead and primed my eyelids as well using the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eyeshadow Base. This is a really good eyeshadow primer. So we're gonna go ahead now and get into the good stuff and try out the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palettes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to try this. Um, the formulas for ColourPop are generally really good. Every palette that I've owned from them has had great pigment and just like easy to blend shadows. So I really do like their formula. It's usually pretty buttery. So now the hard part is deciding what kind of look I wanna go for today. I mean, there are so many options. There are so many colors. Um, I definitely want to use some of the glitter because it is just so beautiful. Uh, but I'm not really sure what color I want to go with today. I might just try, like, these two colors here look really, really pretty. This is kind of more of a neutral orangey shade. It's called Treasure. And then there's a really pretty glitter that goes along with it that, like, matches it, basically. So I think I'm going to go in with that Treasure shade, like I said. Uh, so that's this one right here. So uh, yeah, we'll start with that one. Okay, so this color is like not super pigmented, but it is there. Um, I guess it's more of like a pastel orange, so it is very more of a light shade. But yeah, that's how it looks on the eye. It's like visible, so that's good. Um, and it did feel like the typical ColourPop formula. It didn't feel any different. It felt like really creamy, buttery, easy to blend. So that's good and reassuring. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pick a deeper color to deepen that up with. I feel like the shade does go kind of with the shade I just used. It's kind of a more of a darker peachy color and it's called Love and Warhol. It does have a slight shimmer to it. Um, very, very minimal though. So I think I'm going to go in with that shade to deepen up the crease. I'm just gonna go in a bit more with that lighter first shade um, just to kind of blend it a little more okay I feel like I like how that looks um, it did blend pretty good together like it didn't really have any issues blending them so yeah, I feel like this looks good and yeah, I guess now time to add some glitter. I can't wait to try the glitter. It looks so beautiful. So I'm definitely going to go in with this shade right here and that one is called So Precious. I'm going to do a little swatch for you guys, show you what it looks like on my finger and that is what that shade looks like. I will try and zoom in okay so that's what it looks like it's a very stunning i might just pop this glitter on top just using my finger because i feel like that's going to work the best so maybe i'll just do it like in the inner corner towards the center and then just add the darker shade to the outer corner i feel like that's just like the easiest thing to do right now so yeah let's do that Okay, so that's kind of how we're looking right now. Um, this glitter is really pretty. So I feel like that's going to be the look. I'm just going to obviously fix the outer corner and just fill that in with the deeper shade. And then I'm just gonna do a tad bit more glitter. 
All right, so I think that is the finished eye look. I'm just gonna go ahead and complete the other eye and then I will be right back. All right, so I finished this eye, put my lashes on, and now I need to do concealer and setting powder before I finish uh, my lower lash line. So we're gonna go in with some concealer now, and I'm going to be using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. We're just gonna kind of make this a ColourPop moment just because why not? So I got the shade Fair 10N. And yeah, so we're gonna use this concealer on our under eyes today. And this is a very, very good concealer as well. I absolutely love it. It's super hydrating. So that's how she looks on. I think it looks so good. It definitely brightened up my under eyes. So I really, really love it. So now we're going to go ahead and just set this concealer. And I'm going to be taking the Becca, um, this is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. And this is one of my absolute favorite powders ever. It is just so good. It's like, it makes your skin look so flawless. And I also love just the way it feels on the skin. It kind of has like a cooling um, sensation to it. It's like really, really just something different. I love it so much. So let's go ahead and set that concealer. To do my lower lash line, I'm just going to dip back into those two shades that I used, starting with the darker shade. And then going back in with the lighter shade just to buff out the darker shade. Alright, so we're done with that palette now, but before I put it away, I do just want to quickly swatch a couple more of these glitters because they are just so beautiful and I want to show you guys. So I'm going to swatch um, this one right here. This is Lucky Charm. And I'm going to swatch this pink one here, which is called uh, Prismatic. And this blue um, glitter is called Kaleidoscope. So I just want to show you guys what those will look like. I don't know if you guys can look at those. Okay, wow. Those are stunning. I'm obsessed. So let's move on. Um, now we can go into eyeliner because I got some new eyeliners from ColourPop when I got this palette so I figured I would try one out here for this video so they came in this really cute little bag um, this was actually a bundle with the palette um, I can't remember exactly how much it was but I did get the bundle so this came with all of these gel cream liners um, these are well they're called the BFF cream gel liners so I think I'm gonna go in with this one right here this is like the peachy colored one um, and this one is called Good Reef. So I guess it's like a coral. I'm not really sure, but let's see. Okay, so we'll do a little swatch. That's what it looks like. I don't know. Can you guys see? My camera does not want to focus. There we go. So that's a really pretty, yeah, it's like a coral color. So super beautiful. It's going to go really well with this look. So I'm just going to quickly pop that on to my waterline. Okay, wow, that is so pigmented. I absolutely love it. It is such a pretty, like, corally peach color. It goes perfect with this look. And yeah, so you guys, if you're looking for a good colored liner, I highly recommend these. All right, one more step to complete the eye look, and that's just adding mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm gonna go in today with the Wander Beauty. This is the Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. This is a really good mascara. I really, really love the wand on it. It is so small. And precise so you can really get in there especially for the bottom lashes I love this one because it's just like so easy to use all 
right we're finally done the eye look so I can move on and finish this look off so I'm gonna go in with a bronzer now and I'm gonna be taking the soul body um, this is the face and body bronzing balm I also got this in my ColourPop order and I had never tried a cream bronzer before so this was my first time and I have used it once and let me tell you guys it is life-changing I absolutely love it first of all you get a huge jar so this is gonna last me like a lifetime um, I did get the shade dark and it actually works perfect for me I thought it would be really dark at first when I seen what it looks like I mean looking at it it looks like it's gonna be really dark but it's actually not that dark when you apply it um, so yeah I love this so much and it smells like a freaking tropical vacation like it smells like coconut but also like fruity and just absolutely amazing so we're gonna go in with this guy today and use it again because I just want to show you guys how it works because if you haven't tried cream bronzer I highly suggest you try it out it is so good and this is just like the perfect one to get started with because it is so affordable and it smells freaking bomb so yeah I'm just gonna be taking a brush like this by real techniques um, this is called the expert face brush and I find that it works really well um, so I just basically tap it in to the little jar here and then I do the same thing on my face I just tap it where I want it don't worry, I'm going to blend it out, but let's just get it on the skin first. So I'm just going to add like quite a bit because I am going to blend it out. let the powder sit on my face for a little bit um in the meantime i'm gonna go in with a blush and i'm gonna use the pixie um fresh face blush in whisper pink okay and then i'm just gonna also go ahead and set the rest of my face because i kind of forgot to do that so we're just gonna tap back into that setting powder and just set um anywhere that i missed so around here around the mouth and my forehead and then I'm just gonna sweep off this powder now okay so we have a little bit of nastiness looking right here um so this side seemed to turn out fine but then this side we got a little um patchiness going on so i might need to fix that not really sure how just add a little bit more of that bronzer because that's kind of what happened it kind of took off the bronzer where i wanted it to stay it doesn't look terrible now um, I'm just going to add a little bit more powder to that one side to kind of clean it up a little bit again. And just kind of be very gentle. I'm just going to leave it at that. Let that sit for another minute or two. In the meantime, while that sits, I'm going to go in with highlights. And I'm going to be taking another ColourPop product. This is the Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in Smoke and Whistles. This is like one of the first highlighters I think that I ever got so and I haven't even used it that much like there's like lots left in here but it is just beautiful. Can you guys see that? Like it's stunning. I absolutely love it. It is such a natural looking highlight because it just like blends into your skin so it gives you like a glow from within kind of thing. You'll see. I'm going to tap it on. 
You guys see that? Wow. That is so beautiful. I keep forgetting about this highlight and I like never use it and I don't know why because it is so pretty. I need to just like put it on my vanity so I see it and just continue to use it because like honestly it looks so good. It's like definitely a good highlight for one of those like more natural days when you don't want to have a ton of makeup on and this just kind of like blends into your skin. to add highlight like everywhere so that's just me I love highlights it's like my favorite product so I'm going to just sweep off that powder now yeah that definitely looks a lot better so now we are almost complete um what else do I have to do lips setting spray I think that's it so yeah let's go into um lips i'm just gonna go in with a gloss i think today and i'm gonna take this dominique cosmetics gloss this is the lemonade gloss i think that's what it's called this is in the shade peach tea so i'm just gonna add that on my lips And this gloss goes honestly like perfectly with the look I created because it is like a peachy color. Honestly, I just love this gloss. It smells like freaking cake batter. Like it smells so freaking good. Like you could just eat it. It smells so good and it's not like sticky. It's just like the prettiest gloss ever. So I really would love to get more of these glosses. I think they are so good. And then lastly, it's setting spray time. So let's go in with another ColourPop product. This is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. I have not used this very much, as you can tell, uh, because I'm trying to use up older setting sprays, but I do think that this one is really good. I think it smells good as well. Yeah, it has like that coconutty scent to it, and it's got a really, really fine mist, so I really, really love that. I think that's everything now so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video um, I had so much fun creating this look I will say my first impressions on the fade into hue palette is I love it um, it performed just as good as I expected it to it has like the same formula as other ColourPop eyeshadows I think anyways so I had no troubles using them they were pigmented they were easily blendable um, the glitters were absolutely stunning and the only thing I wish this palette had was a mirror because it is a big palette. It would be nice to have a mirror up here, but I do understand why they don't um, put a mirror. I mean, it would make the palette probably more expensive. So I don't mind forfeiting the mirror to get a good quality palette for an affordable price. If you like colorful palettes, I definitely recommend checking this one out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It is beautiful. It has every color of the rainbow like check that out it is just so pretty and like i said the performance of it is really good so no complaints here and yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below before you go and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys